Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, it is Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm going to see how close I can come to the great day that I had last year. I made an even $212 working seven and a half hours, meaning I averaged over $28 an hour. So I am really curious to see how today is gonna go. It is currently 12 o'clock. I already went to Starbucks, I already took my walk, and I'm gonna turn on all three apps. The difference this year is that I have Grubhub. So last year was only DoorDash and Uber Eats. This year I get to turn on Grubhub as well, and we're gonna see what this game day brings. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, and if I can hit $200, I'm gonna be very happy, but I'm gonna stay realistic about it because it has been a struggle bus out here lately. <laughs> as far as any promotions go, last year Uber and DoorDash were running promos, this year, Uber is running a promo right now from 12 to 5. It looks like I can earn an additional $20 by doing 10 deliveries between 12 and 5, which is pretty good considering that's only about two deliveries per hour. So maybe that's something I could get. Then they also have a later promo, I think happening between 4 and 8. As far as right now, DoorDash has no peak pay running in my area or promotions running until 8 p.m. where it shows a dollar peak pay. So I don't know if... As the day goes on, maybe DoorDash will put some peak pay if there's not enough uh, drivers out there. And Grubhub, I think they call them missions. Um, I did one mission, I think, where it was just like earn $5 by doing one delivery, which was pretty cool. Um, but as, as of right now, I don't see anything happening on Grubhub. So, And let me know in the comments below, did you work Super Bowl Sunday? Did you work last year? How did it go for you? What year was better, 2021 or 2022? If you didn't work, why did you choose not to work? Were you watching the game? Was it not worth it last year for you? Let me know your thoughts on working Super Bowl Sunday, and if you did work it, how did it go? The apps are on, and we will see how long it takes to get our first order. All right, guys, 27 minutes in. The very first order came, and I accepted it. DoorDash 625 going, I think, 1.7 miles to Jersey Mike's, which is just about a block behind me there. So we're going to go. And I'm happy because I got to use the bathroom because this is going right through me. <laughs> Wash your Alright guys, super simple, that was very close, um, but I've delivered to this house before and um, it's always hand to customer and then it says leave on porch. So even though, you know, nothing shady has ever happened, I still always take a picture and send it in the app just to cover my butt, you know what I mean? Because anytime you see that that they chose hand to me and then their instructions are to leave it on the porch. Could be a simple mistake or it could be a sign of fraud. So let's see, I'm gonna turn back on Uber Eats and Grubhub and uh, see what else we can get here. 12.55 now and uh, I declined one Uber Eats, not one Grubhub has come in and I just declined a Chipotle order that was ordered from Chipotle and being delivered to Chipotle. So I took a screenshot of the ad, uh, address. That seemed like an issue that I didn't want to worry about. And uh, it was only for five bucks. So it's not like I missed out on a lot of money. So um, to say that it's slow, hmm, are people, maybe people are planning on eating lunch later today or not eating lunch at all because they're going to pig out during the game. I don't know. Uh, my plan is to go till about 2, 2.30, so we have like an hour, hour and a half left, and then I'm going to get back out and work through the night uh, during the game and see how that goes. So for now, uh, 12.56 now, we're still just patiently waiting. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, only second order of the day, Chipotle, but it was ready on the shelf, which is amazing for Chipotle. So this drop off is four minutes away, 1.4 miles. So let's go drop that off. All right, so it's 146 and Grubhub came through with a winner. <laughs> so $13 to go a little over a mile. I will take that any day. Um, it says that it'll be ready by 155, so I'm taking my time. I'm not going to go in there and expect it to be done earlier. Uh, so I do feel that a lot of these restaurants are good with these estimated times on Grubhub, at least in my experience so far. Uh, as you can see, DoorDash has been sending a lot of crap. Um, <laughs> high miles, low offers. They look like no tip, and maybe DoorDash added a dollar to compensate. Driving eight bucks, I mean, driving eight miles, but for four bucks, that's still a no. So i um, going to take my time getting to Chipotle, and we'll see if it's actually ready by 155. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. We are two hours in and I've got in about 25 bucks. <laughs> um, Grubhub just came through with another order at Jersey Mike's, a little over seven bucks for three miles. So headed right back to Jersey Mike's. This says it will be ready by 2.22. It's currently 2.16. So I'm gonna drive real slow to get there and walk in real slow and hopefully it'll be on that shelf when I get there. It's another manic Monday, even though it's Sunday. All right, Jersey Mike's was done two minutes ahead of schedule, which is great. And uh, this is seven minutes away, 2.6 miles. We're on our way with a little Fleetwood Mac. The story of my life. Keep your head up, moving on. Hold you, touching you. Think that you're mine. <laughs> well, it is 2.46 and uh, DoorDash logged me out of my dash, um, I guess because I was paused too long, and now my zone is gray, so I can't even get back on. And Uber Eats, not a thing. So I've done two Grubhub and two DoorDash deliveries in almost three hours, and made a little over, what, 32 bucks? <laughs> so I think it's safe to say uh, being out here is not worth my time. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat some lunch and get ready for what I hope is a busy night. So, I don't know. I'm curious, how was your Super Bowl afternoon on this Sunday? Let me know in the comments below and let's just remain hopeful for a better night. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the evening. Uh, it is 5.50, so I'm going to turn the apps on back at 6, and we're going to see what the evening can bring. You saw my afternoon, <laughs> and I think just because it was so slow, I just, when I went home to eat lunch, I just kind of hit a wall, and I am so tired. So I'm hoping tonight is busy, and um, yeah, if it's slow and I'm this tired, I might cut the night short because what's the point of staying out, right? I'm taking you along with me for whatever comes our way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, 25 minutes later, after declining a lot of crap on DoorDash, 
Uber Eats came through with a $10 offer going less than two miles from a hamburger joint right down the street. So I don't know, maybe this will be the start of it being worth it. So I'm glad I waited event. I almost turned on the camera to say that I was gonna turn off DoorDash because they kept pausing me, they kept logging me out. I had to sign back in, it wasn't working. I, like, I can't be dealing with that when I'm trying to drive. I hate that. DoorDash, fix your app. Why are you logging me out? I put myself on pause. You know what I mean? Ugh. So I was just about to say, you know what? Screw DoorDash, I'm only gonna keep Uber and Grubhub on because it happened within the 46 minutes I've been logged back in, it happened like four times. So I don't know what's going on with DoorDash, but I'm okay now. They just sent me a 12.50 order going 0.9 miles. Uh, it's two pickups going to one house. So a sushi place and an ice cream place. So I'm delivering dinner and dessert and that's pretty awesome. So it wants me to go to the ice cream place first, which should be fine. It's freezing outside. I'll turn the heat off so it doesn't melt and then uh, pick up at the sushi place. So 12.50 for less than a mile, all day. <laughs> Alright guys, the order was ready at Oberweiss right behind there and it is a ghost town around here because of the Super Bowl and I love it. There's no traffic, no people, everywhere is empty. I will take it. <laughs> Home the close young town of dancers. Count the floodlights on the highway. I learned something new with the two different uh, pickups to one resident. I don't think I've ever done it on DoorDash, at least I don't remember. And at first, so, you know, I dropped it off, took a picture and got back in my car and it said, you know, order complete, you earn 950. And I said, hold up. <laughs> I accepted it for 1250. And then once I hit, you know, okay or whatever, then it wanted me to take a second picture, so I didn't know that you had to do two different pictures for one drop-off, which that's kind of stupid. DoorDash should fix that. So I just submitted the one photo, and then to finish the second one, I just took, or I just hit handed order directly to customer, and uh, that was fine. And I'm happy to say that I earned $15 total, so there was a hidden tip, and uh, I earned 15 bucks instead of the 1250. I'll take that for a win. I earned $25, it's 7.03, so I've earned uh, $25 in my first hour. And look at the difference between this afternoon and this evening. So I'll, I'll take this, I like that. So we'll keep going. Even for 1.2 miles, 3.75, no. There's a dollar peak pay right now, so that means there's no tip. And uh, it's really a 275 order, so I don't care how short it is. No tip, no trip. That's what I live by. You don't have to, I'm not judging. <laughs> I can't believe this. So I'm going through DoorDash. The decline option is just you hit decline and it goes right back to the screen. There's no, your acceptance rate will drop to this. What's the reason you're declining? Are you sure you wanna decline? Which I love. So it's just like Uber, you just hit the X or hit decline and you keep moving. It just backfired on me. Um, <laughs> an order came in for 775 going 2.1 miles. And I had the screen was like zoomed in. So I was trying to zoom out and my finger hit decline and it went away. So I guess that's the one downside Although I, I think it was just a fluke that's not gonna happen very often where I'm trying to, <laughs> my finger's gonna hit uh, decline accidentally, but I cannot believe that just happened. So right now I'm missing out on 775 for a short distance because my damn finger hit decline. 
I just wanted to see where I was going, and I don't know why the map was so zoomed in. Uh, always got to be something, huh? <laughs> Guys. So at 7.23, I've been waiting for 20 minutes for a decent offer to come in. Grubhub came through with a $13 order going three miles. And then an add-on came for $12 for another 2.6 miles. So $25 for about five miles. What? I will take that. Uh, $25 last hour, $25 this hour. I'm liking this for sure. I see you. I see you. Hey guys, Editing Joe here. I thought I recorded an ending to this video because I sure did sit and talk to the camera, but it turns out I never actually hit record, so voiceover it is. As you can see, I came nowhere near my success of Super Bowl 2021. I only made $83.49, which averaged a little over $16 an hour, compared to last year where I averaged over $28 an hour. My dollar per mile ratio was great at $2.88 per mile, thanks to the high paying, low mileage evening orders. Please let me know how you did this year during the Super Bowl and how it compared to years past. I look forward to reading your comments and I thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.